Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading and the first card is the eye. So this is about um, using your intuition to sort things out but also watching your back. Make sure that you're dealing with things but you know being extra vigilant uh, when you're dealing with any kind of situation. There is a need for you to actually save finances so whatever you're earning you need to put it into savings. Uh, you might have been overspending a little bit over there so there's time there's a need for you to close that closet door over there so make sure that you're uh, watching your finances and your spending. There seems to have been some kind of information that has come to light here. You've got the lightning. So some big dramatic change has happened over here. Uh, and, you know, it might have been something that has taken you out of a situation of conflict. So some information, you've got that six of... Um, clubs over there talking about victory and so whatever information may have come to light uh, might have given you the edge over whatever the competition has been over there so you have been through a lot but something has come to light or will come to light very soon in the past you've got the uh, fish card over here so this is about new offers coming in this might have been a new job offer that came in for you over there there's been a lot of problems in this particular job um, you've got that seven of swords um, here and uh, you know you've got the, uh, the clouds so you've been going through quite a bit over there you've been dealing with a lot of nasty people uh, maybe a lot of backstabbing over there a lot of deception going on over there so facing a lot of conflict possibly on the work front over there now going into the future you've got that three of hearts there and the sun with it so uh, this is about celebration and this is about good news coming in clarity coming in but also about victory coming in over there with that three of hearts and the ace of diamonds this is like the ace of pentacles so new money coming in over there uh, but also a lot of international communication going on over there so you're going to be networking with a lot of people and this might be a new job that you're starting out soon so, th you know, just make sure that you're watching your back as well with that eye card. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Tower of the Sweet Twilight. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Swords there, and you've got the Chariot. So you might be moving on and starting a brand new job somewhere else. With that Knight of Swords, this is about uh, maybe signing new legal contracts or maybe some kind of legal news coming in over there for you if you're dealing with a legal situation. You've got the Chariot card over there, so you might be moving on. You might be changing, uh, you know, um, leaving uh, your old uh, living situation and moving on to something else, maybe buying a new home or maybe moving on to do a job somewhere else where you need to buy a new home or settle down somewhere else. Uh, the chariot card is definitely a card of victory, so being determined to succeed at whatever it is you want to do, but also moving on from that old situation over here. You might have had even some issues um, involving the family um, situation you've got the magician you've been trying to manifest something brand new over there and maybe this manifestation is about you know starting off afresh somewhere else leaving the old behind you seem to have been dealing with some kind of legal issues or le uh, very toxic issues really you've got that snake over there uh maybe there's been a family situation that's been very very toxic maybe there's been some legalities that have been involved in it but this could also be about whatever situation you have been uh in uh it's been quite toxic and maybe there was some legal issues that needed to be sorted out. You could be moving on and signing new contracts as well somewhere else. So starting a brand new job in a new situation and maybe starting fresh as well. There could be some legal news coming in there with that Knight of Swords. You've got the Five of Cups over there and the Two of Pentacles. So uh, you are very disappointed at whatever happened. You've got a tree in the background over there that shows that maybe there is, has been some kind of family issues going on over there. And this has upset you quite a bit. You might be have you feel isolated from the pack as well. So maybe not feeling as though anybody in your family is supporting you. And you might be feeling very lonely as well at this particular moment. You're certainly doing some kind of review of yourself. You're reviewing your finances, reviewing your goals. You can see that her looking in the mirror over there, trying to make some kind of decision about where you want to invest your time. You might be thinking about moving overseas to do this particular job that you're doing as well. Uh, and the coin seems to be the most important thing. So you're really focused on that money at this particular time. So it seems like there was an issue maybe in the family situation here. You've got the six of, six of Cups, which is usually about family issues and situations. There might have been somebody that has been bullying you around over there. Uh, you've 
got this person on their knees. And you can see there's a home in the background there. So this is about issues to do with home, security, family issues. And somebody around there is being very much a bully uh, on, on the family situation there. And, you know, they're not really taking you seriously there. You've got the emperor, you know, he's got two kinds of clothes on. So uh, maybe people are not seeing your authority or not taking your authority very, very seriously. You're certainly trying to take charge of the situation. You're trying to handle your finances. And you're trying to be very, very logical about the situation. Uh, with this Six of Cups and this big bear on it and the Emperor card, you know, this could be that you are dealing with somebody uh, who is very mu who's bullying you quite a bit. Um, you know, they're trying to get their way and push you around. Um, and there is a need for you to uh, stand up to them. So uh, this is about, you know, people not taking you as seriously as you would like them to, and people are just uh, not recognizing your authority as well over there with that for the emperor card over there. And this is also a card about feeling a bit lonely and isolated wherever you are. You've got the Ten of Cups, so this is the ending of an old situation. So this could be family matters. Uh, the cups usually signify family, home, love. Uh, it seems like uh, you and these whoever you've been dealing with have got different ideas or different viewpoints. You can see both these people's heads in opposite directions. So you're not on the same page at all, and it seems like the situation is coming to an end or has come to an end. Or you're, you're finished and done with whatever the drama is at the moment. Maybe this is why you're making uh, a, a review, a self-assessment uh, to decide what it is you really want out of life. So the three of wands, it's about working towards, uh, you know, your, working on your plans and working towards a future. There's a lot of obstacles and pitfalls that you are facing at the moment, and it's, it's a struggle for you. Uh, you will be working with a lot of people pretty soon, uh, maybe collaborating, uh, maybe even on the international front over there. There's going to be a lot of, you're going to be very, very busy. There's a lot of things that you have to do, uh, you know, uh, and it's going to be a little bit difficult as well because you can see there's a lot of obstacles to overcome over here. So, uh, you know, you've got to prepare yourself for that. So make sure whatever job you are planning on taking on that you're aware that it's not going to be smooth sailing. It is going to be a bit difficult there. You got the Queen of Wands over here, and this is getting a position that's where you're in control, in charge. And it is some kind of job on the international front. It's the Wands is usually about travel. It's about working on that international arena as well and taking control. You can see she's got the wand in her hand. So there's new, some new project coming in. There could be a promotion coming in for you over there. Um, not quite at the top, because you can see her... Uh, throne is made of wands over here and there might be some difficult people that you will be dealing with over there but you need to stand up for yourself and take control of that situation it looks like you will be managing a lot of people but also communicating a lot uh, on that international front you got the devil card over here so you're going to be pretty busy soon uh, the devil is you ruled by saturn and this is about hard work coming in for you just be aware that you know there could be people that are trying to manipulate uh, maneuver the situations over there. So somebody is still trying to uh, jerk your strings or pull your strings over there. Uh, so be aware that this is the case. Um, you know, and they are the people that are probably causing a lot of difficulties. You can see that um, this uh, devil is looking at the three of wands. So they might be the people that are presenting all these obstacles. You might be dealing with people that are not quite. Uh, doing the things that you want them to do because you can see these people are looking in different directions they seem to be moving in different directions so you've got to deal with a team of people possibly with this three of wands um, that really are not uh, very keen on taking instructions so just be aware of that you know there might be a, a different way that you need to persuade them there's certainly somebody around you that you're dealing with a devil energy there who is very manipulative very controlling um, and uh, you know they're they're trying to get the maximum out of you but whatever it is you're going to be working at, it's going to be that you're working pretty hard at it. It's going to be long hours, a lot of commitment coming in over there. You've got the Three of Pentacles over here. You are very, very focused on this work, and you want it to be successful. Uh, with that Three of Pentacles, it's about uh, collaborating with a lot of people, but also you know, just very, very focused on that coin. Going to the future, the final outcome, you've got the Hangman over there, the Knave of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So uh, you're waiting pretty patiently over there. Uh, from being upside down, this man is standing upright. So things are going to start flipping around for you. So uh, where things were out of your control, where you didn't feel like you could do anything, it seems like you've been doing some studying or learning or training, and things are now turning around for you. So, um, you know, it's going into more positive directions. You need to have a little bit 
more patience. Things are about to change for you in a big way. This is a major arcana card. You've got an offer coming in over here with that knave of cups. So this could be an offer for further learning. You can see this man standing on the book there. Could be further learning, further studying, further training, or you taking on a role as being a teacher as well. And it's a new job offer um, coming in. So whatever this new job offer is, it's got study, learning, training attached to it. You being a uh, somebody who is an expert at it, you might be becoming an expert at your field over there. And it's a new job offer because it brings in new money. So, uh, you know, even with the energy cards showing in a new offer coming in over here, it seems like with this uh, Knave of Cups, there is a, a new offer and that news is coming in uh, for you. So taking on a role as being a teacher or a trainer, training up people, but it's definitely going to bring in new money. So things are about to change for you. You just need to hang in there. You will be working with a lot of people. It might be a lot of hard work as well, uh, where you're very, very focused on it. But it seems like you are making that decision to move on with that Two of Pentacles you are taking control of that coin. You can see here she's got the coin dangling on the side, but it's around her neck now. So it seems like you know you are making that de decision on focusing on that coin. After going through all those problems that you've been through, it might have been an emotional situation of some kind of family situation, but it seems like you're letting go of that and you're going to be focusing more on yourself, more on your work, um, and maybe doing a lot more travel and collaborating with a lot more people. And here you've got the Three of Earth as the first card in the Oracle Reads. So you can see this is about uh, the power of creativity, recognition for high quality work, uh, be a team player. So you are going to be working with a group of people. You can see here, even with that Three of Wands, working with a group of people, uh, you know. So the focus is going to be on work and on that coin um, pretty soon. You've got the Two of Fire over here. So you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So out of all of this, there might be somebody that you bond with quite a bit with that two of fire, and you'll be working pretty hard with this person. You might even be traveling with this person as well. A lot of collaboration coming in over there with that two of fire. And then you've got the uh, judgment card, uh, the renewal card over here. So review and evaluate a favorable assessment of facts, time to move in a new direction. So whatever is coming in for you over there with that Ace of Pentacles new offer, it's a brand new direction for you. And like I said, it might be something to do with training people up or even doing some further training or further learning yourself. The uh, renewal card is calling you to make a decision to move on in a different directions. So you have um, all the facts at hand uh, and you need to just make an assessment of it and decide what you want to do. You are being called upon to change direction, move on to something brand new and make a fresh start. And it's going to be successful, especially with that renewal card. It's like a second chance to do something, but this will be a successful second chance. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.